whilst I'm making videos. Here's another one <clears throat> about a disc cone antenna. Um, I made a couple and then I decided to buy one to compare the, the results. This is one made by Diamond, um, Diamond Antenna in Japan. And it's a D220R. There are several different versions of this. <clears throat> There's another version which has one radial longer than all the others and adjustable in length for matching the transmit on two meters, but this is not that version. <clears throat> it seems to work very nicely. Um, has a loaded whip on top for the lower frequencies, so it works down to uh, 130 megahertz or so. It's good for airband two meters and all the way up to around about one gigahertz. <clears throat> of course, includes Meshtastic 868 megahertz as well. I've mounted it, it comes with this ready built in coaxial feeder with a uh, PL259 of all things on the bottom. And what I've done is I've mounted it on a box, <clears throat> which is a waterproof box for outdoor use. And inside there, there's a RTL SDR dongle for receive only and uh, comes out with a USB cable. And <clears throat> the RTL SDR um, receiver is actually glued onto an enormous heat sink keep it cool because it, it actually generates quite a lot of heat and in a box like this it could get overheated so it's got a very big heat sink and that keeps it <clears throat> cool so that's a completely self-contained wideband receiver with antenna with a USB interface and of course I can use a long USB cable to connect that to indoors without having feeder loss so that's the professional <clears throat> more expensive disc cone antenna but highly recommendable